long. It was just me and it was really kind of popular. And so our then CEO Doug Briggs said, could we do something like in the fall, like right before Christmas time? And we looked at the Galway races, the Galway Oyster Festival. We looked at all these different Irish events and then we read about the Rose of Tralee and we thought, OK, that Perfect. is so romantic. It's kind of like, you know, the Miss America of Ireland, but it's all about her, her beauty and her service and her friendship to others that the Rose of Tralee began. It used to be eight hours between me and Mary Beth, year after year after year for many years. And in those days, we had Aaron sweaters that were pullovers and that's what we sold. And we had a couple little cardigans with the traditional brown buttons yeah. that of course are still in style. And then when John Cullen and now Barry Cullen, his nephew came to QVC, suddenly we had all this fashion. <laughs> so this is my pick of the show just because I've shopped a lot from you guys through the years and I know what I don't have and what my sister doesn't have. And I think this is just so chic, so easy. I have the Susan Graver turtleneck on, my own jeans from home. You throw this on, it's instant fashion. The one that I'm wearing is the beautiful soft gray that by the way, sold out in the other hot pick, which oh, we had up with your Uncle Great. John a little earlier. <clears throat> Four easy payments of $23 and six cents. Um, two colors sold out in the debut and it's the only day this month that we're putting it on easy pay. And to keep the streak going, this is customer top rated as well. So I have the soft gray. This is the first time we've seen parsnip today yeah, in my two hour show. That's a gorgeous combination and a really fun color. And then we have it in the black, but notice the black has the relief of that deep charcoal gray. Once again, there's a lot of merino wool here. Please don't hang it. We just do this to show you the colors, purposes. but we want you to fold it up so it doesn't get stretched out of shape. And there's your beautiful green. So, okay, come on. This is fashion at its finest, it's right? You want to play with the parsnip? Sure. Okay. So I say, as you mentioned, what we always try to do in, uh, with Iron Craft is to take these, what would have been very traditional stitches like uh, the fisherman's cables and that, which would have been for durable workwear. And we're trying to use those techniques to bring them into the 21st century to create a modern, functioning, feminine, uh, fashion forward garment. And I think that we've really, we've really done that with this, with this piece. Right. So what, what strikes me is that it's constructed unlike any other sweater I've ever seen. And by the way, I'm holding it in my hand. I'm in the midst of making um, a baby version of an Aran sweater right now, mm -hmm. which is like so much fun because they're, like, they're little and they're cute. <laughs> I know how much I spent on the wool for that sweater and how long it's taking me to knit this. And this is made in Ireland. It's made on wonderful machines, but then it's hand finished by so many wonderful artisans. I know, Barry, that I could not begin to buy the wool to make this sweater, That's let alone then take months to make this sweater. We're fighting that you year on year that yeah. merino wool is just getting more and more expensive. It's a commodity, right? It's, it's, it's like the gold of, of the fashion well, industry. I think what, what we say about when we can make something like this with the merino wool, we say you, uh, you remember the quality long after the price has been forgotten. Well, that's true, especially when you have easy pay for the only day this month. And also something that I know you don't have. I mean, you throw this over a turtleneck and jeans. You pop it over a straight long dress with a pair of boots. Um, right now, I love how Jess has just thrown it over her little t-shirt. So, you know, it's that first chilly night in September and you need a little something when you're walking out of work. Mm -hmm. This is it. But I'm just, I'm amazed at the construction because like I said, it's almost like a shawl meets a vest. All and and that's, that's one of the things that we tried to engineer with it. If, if, you, if you look at the back of it, this piece that we, the, this join that we've made at the back here, what this means is that it sits, it sits nice and comfortable and, uh, and, and round on your shoulders. It's not, it's okay. not going to hang out in a kind of an A shape, which right. can, can happen with something with these kind of shawls. See that? It's like a little shrug around your shoulders. And then that runs down the front. Even if you're short like I am, it's not overpowering. And we have cool sizes here. We have the extra small, slash small that I have on. Then we have a medium slash large and then we have an extra large that goes up the 2XL because it's very forgiving. I like that you've given us a button under here, but if you want to open it up, you can. Yeah, and I think it's, it's nice because it, it, it's, it's, it, gives it, it gives it a certain amount of structure and a, a, bit of a, a bit of a silhouette to it. Right. But then if you say, you know, I'd rather have this almost like a little shawl, a little Ruana, so I have a little bit more room, you can do that too. So it's really kind of two looks. I think in a lot one. of people like to, it's really sad if they were, say, driving or something like that. It gives a little bit more freedom if you're, sit, if right. you're going to be sitting in the car for a period right. of time. And, you know, we talked to Matt earlier with his Ruana about building it. You could put a belt against your skin in the back, against your body, and then bring it around to the front and then just belt it in the front, and then that would be perfect too. Perfect. Because that would give you that beautiful shape. And of course, it's beautiful because it's merino wool. You can actually wear it right against your skin. You don't yeah. have to have an ear to it. It's going to feel soft. The way Jess has. 
So we haven't had anything like it. I mean, obviously vests are hot. Our own in-house amazing designer, Susan Graver, who has a Today Special Value today, and she's all about going to Europe and you know looking at what's happening in the trends, and she loves the Irish, by the way. She bought one of your sweaters one time, and oh, it was fantastic. a Today Special Value. Um, our own Susan Graver is doing a Today Special Value vest today. So Vests it very is popular at the moment, hottest yeah. thing happening. This is customer top rated, and you know, there's parts of the country where this, you know, with a, a nice turtleneck, th this is might be all you need, it's you know? Wear. Yeah, right? Um, what do you love about the, the type of stitches that you've chosen well, in I, this one? Th the thing I love most about this is that we, we do, we've, we've really taken the, the, those aspects of those stitches to, to give a bit a certain a structural aspects to the garment. Like if you look along here, you can see we've got this increasing diamond pattern. And what that does, when you come to the larger diamond, you're actually creating a slight A-frame on the Empire line, which gives a nice feminine silhouette. Well, we're going to wrap this up, stay on the line. It's customer top rated, but we have a little surprise for you because we had another item in the show earlier that was so very, very popular. We decided we need to bring it back one more time before the end of our Rose of Tralee Irish special. The only good news is, though, the fun's not ending because go over to our wonderful station, QVC Plus. If you don't have it on your cable channel, check out. I didn't even know we had it for months, and all of a sudden I'm like, oh, 